Hello and welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. So today we are going to uh, learn more about a UiPath feature that is table extraction. So uh, most of you people, those who are familiar with the latest version of UiPath Studio that is uh, 2021.10 uh, plus uh, versions, you may have uh, seen this particular feature called data or a table extraction, right? So earlier we had a uh, uh, screen scrapping and a data uh, scrapping was there and now that has replaced with the uh, table extraction right so what is this uh, table extraction so table extraction it will it will help to fetch the table format from any of the application and it, it will help to convert that to a data uh, table uh, format okay so we can use that uh, uh, data type for uh, manipulated data in our uh, automations okay so that is the purpose of a table uh, extraction so instead of fetching each value from a table uh, uipath will automatically identify uh, that particular field as a table and it will extract all the uh, columns and rows from that particular table okay so that is purpose of a uh, uh, table extraction okay so uh, if you having seen uh, this table extraction what you have to do is just go to home and uh, go to design and you need to uh, verify whether uh, this particular checkbox is enabled or not okay use modern for new project okay so if it is no means you may not be able to see this particular feature uh, table extraction okay so let me show you uh, what is the purpose of, the purpose of this uh, table extraction and how you can use this table extraction to get the table data from uh, different applications okay for that for an example i'm going to open up uh, this particular uh, uh, application that is rpa challenged uh, ocr dot azure website website dot net or uh, let me go to the rpa challenge okay so what you can do is just go to rpa challenge dot com and go to this invoice extraction Okay, so there uh, you will be getting a demo uh, web page which is having a uh, table. Okay, so you can uh, try out the table extraction using this particular uh, demo uh, platform. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to click on table extraction. Okay, if you click on table extraction, it will open up this particular uh, box. Okay, so here you can see add data is there. Okay, so it, what is that? Define a series of similar elements to be extracted as a column. So if you click on this and if you hover on top of something, it will identify that field as a table. Okay, if it is a table, it will, uh, it will identify that as a table and it will extract all the data to a uh, data table data type. Okay, and here you can see there is a next button to navigate to the next pages, right? So if you if you have anything uh, to be extracted from the next pages, what you can do is you can specify this next button. Okay, so it means in the automation, it will automatically navigate to the next pages and it will extract the entire data. Okay, so that is the purpose of next data. And what is this? Extract URLs and image sources of the extract data if they are present. They are added as new data column okay suppose if you are extracting some uh, value or uh, like in google if you are searching something if you search something you will be getting uh, different uh, suggestions for that particular uh, uh, search right so if you want to get the url of each uh, page after the selection what you can do is you can just enable this particular uh, uh, button okay then it will automatically fetch all the url data uh, from that extraction okay so i will show you how you can use this button as well and uh, here you can set the settings like what is the maximum number of rows and pages that you want to extract if you put it like no limit it will extract as many data and here there is a preview session also if you want to preview the data that got extracted you can see everything in the preview session okay, okay so what you have to do is just click on add data then just indicate the element which you want to extract okay so suppose if i click here okay it, it is showing the suggestion like would you like to extract all the columns from the table so it means uipath has automatically identified this particular field as a table okay it identify this is a table so do you want to extract all the columns from the table okay suppose if i am clicking yes okay here you can see it has extracted all the columns right it has extracted all the columns 
and if i go to the preview you can see it has extracted all the rows as well right all the in uh, columns as well as the rows it has uh, extracted and uh, these are the files right that's why it's not captured in the invoice but other than other than that it has captured all the values here right but it didn't capture the remaining values in the next pages right in two three and all we have the data but it didn't extract those data so what you can do just specify this uh, next button so just click on that and indicate this next okay so it will automatically navigate to the next pages and it will extract the data okay so that's how it is working and uh, what i am going to do is okay so now you can see it has uh, uh, extracted all the uh, columns and uh, all the rows it has extracted like the four uh, rows it has extracted and i am going to save it okay so now you can see it has opened this uh, particular website from that it extracted the entire table and uh, and it generated a uh, data type that is uh, of data table okay that is of data table and the name is extract data table right so what i'm going to do is let me use output data table to show you how it has uh, extracted the table data okay so i'm going to put an output data table extract table data so this output data table it will help to convert this data type uh, that is a data table to a string okay so here you have to create a uh, new string or here uh, i have already created a string so i'm going to use it out of message okay so that is of the string value right and here i'm going to use a message box to show you the extracted data okay so out of message okay so that part is done extraction part is done so let me execute this and i will show you how the extraction is happening so currently it is in first page right so if you uh, closely watch you can see it will navigate automatically to next pages yeah it is navigating and it will extract all the data so so here you can see it has extracted all the data the first row second row sorry uh, first column second column then the date so it has extracted all the columns and rows from this uh, particular table right so this is how you can use uh, this uh, table extraction to extract the data okay so that part is done and let me show you an another thing so i'm going to just enable the sequence disable the sequence okay i'm going to add a new sequence okay then i'm going to this particular portal okay um, or uh, let me open up a new thing new page okay in the google i'm going to search for okay so here i search for this panda right so i am getting different urls uh, suggesting this particular topic right so if i want to get the url for all these uh, suggestions what i can do i am going to ui path studio okay i am going to table extraction add data and before that you have to enable this particular button right currently this is disabled if i click on this it will get enabled right so just click on this add data just hover on top of this giant panda okay so uh, i'm going to click on click up to this okay i need to uh, fetch this uh, data also okay so it has automatically identified eight rows with a similar pattern right it has automatically identified eight rows with a similar pattern and it automatically created a uh, data table with this particular url okay so what i'm going to do is let me 
stop this extraction and if we go to preview here you can see it is extracted all the URLs for this uh, search right so this way you can extract uh, the URLs if you want to uh, get the full URL for any of the suggestions or in your automation requirement okay so that is the purpose of uh, this particular button and it will be creating as a uh, data table okay so here you can see it is extracted uh, of first column and the second column as the URL okay uh, okay so we have seen how you can extract the uh, table from the web page uh, and how you can extract the urls uh, if you have a need for extracting any of the urls based on any search or something okay so these two two things that uh, we have seen as of now so let me show you uh, one more thing like okay so here i have navigated to flipkart and have searched for uh, iphone 12 mini okay suppose if i want to extract the singular set of data like uh, I want to get the uh, uh, name of the particular device like Apple iPhone 12 mini and what is the uh, uh, color and the uh, size okay that is 64 GB and I need to get the pricing uh, for all these uh, devices then I want to get the configuration details okay. okay so let me show you how you can uh, do that process okay for that I'm going to uh, studio click on table extraction okay so i'm just uh, disabling this uh, url selection click on add data okay then you have to indicate the element right so i'm going to indicate this particular element so here you can see it has extracted uh, the entire uh, rows okay in this particular page it has extracted the entire rows i'm going to click on finish okay so what is the next data that i need to fetch i need to get this uh, uh, pricing right click on add data code is pricing okay here you can see it has created an another column and it has extracted 11 uh, rows right so that part is done then what is the next thing that i need to extract i need to extract um, okay the first thing that is uh, what is the uh, size size of the uh, this particular device okay storage space of the particular device again go to add data just click on this okay again created a new column click on finish okay let me uh, get the um, okay the screen size also for that i'm going to click on add data okay again click on this again it created another column right so let me uh, complete this uh, extraction click on save uh, multiple page rows are configured uh, but an expert is not set would you like to continue extract uh, okay so suppose if you want to uh, add a next button that you can do but in this demo i'm not going to do okay suppose if you want to get the data from different pages you can add a uh, next button okay so this is uh, just suggesting i haven't set any next button okay so uh, for this demo i'm not going to choose any next button just click on continue okay the that part is done what is this uh, configured by an expert and is not set okay so that's just a warning then what i'm going to do is so uh, let me add a output data table output data table extracted data table then here i'm going to use i'm going to create a out message one okay then i need to display this is a message box right let me use message box out of message one, right let me run this and show you what are the details that are extracted So you should have extracted all these details like what are the details that we have selected in a tabular format okay so here you can see it has extracted all the 
data like uh, what is the uh, name of the device and what is the pricing of the device and uh, uh, what is the storage space of the device and what is the uh, display uh, size of the uh, device okay so all these details has uh, uh, extracted from the particular uh, page so this is again like a pattern based uh, extraction so this is how you can uh, use this uh, table extraction for extracting the table as well as if you want to extract some similar pattern uh, based extraction okay so hope this uh, video is useful for you if there is any confusion with this extraction uh, please uh, mention that in the comment box i can help you out with uh, more solutions and more clarity to this particular feature okay so thanks for watching the video please like the video share to your friends don't forget to comment your valuable opinions and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching thank you bye